In today's video, I go over how and why you guys should find better teammates to play with. This is one of the most overlooked aspects of team game modes. And if you find better people to play with, your chances of success will increase by a lot. Be sure to use code SonataYT if you guys do want to support me in the item shop, hashtag ad. Also, be sure to leave a comment letting me know if this video helped you out. It would be greatly appreciated. So first off, I'm going to be going over exactly why you should look for better teammates to play with. You guys might be thinking, I can just find normal teammates from NA Open and play with them and try to get better. While this is true, the better the teammates that you guys find, the more chance you have at success because naturally your team is going to be better. You're going to have a better chance at placing not only in events like Trio Cash Cups, but also the FNCS. Most of the time, more experienced competitive players know exactly how to play competitive. They're not going to be making those simple mistakes that you see all of the newbies make. Another reason is that also a lot of these competitive players that are more experienced will be taking it a lot more seriously. If you guys are players that really want to have a chance playing competitive right now, you should honestly try and find serious players. If you have people that need to leave in the middle of a tournament to go play soccer practice, those are not going to be good teammates that you want to stay with. You need to ensure that the people that you're playing with have the priority of playing competitive Fortnite. And most of the time, these people that you will want to try and play with are going to need to have good solo placements. So getting into the next section here, it is important for people to confirm that you are good at the actual game. If you are good at solos, people can actually confirm that you know how to play the game properly. That's why most of the time, some of the best players in the world are solo players. Players such as Mr. Savage, Booga, Benji Fishy, all of these top tier pro players are all extremely good at solos and got their start in those game modes. Mr. Savage wasn't a duo champion before he placed first in the Winter Royale qualifiers back in 2018. All of these players have really good solo placements with which they can prove that they know how to actually play the game. The second really good reason to make sure that you have good solo placements is because it gives you a lot of PR compared to other game modes. In other game modes that you play, your PR is going to be split across the board between your teammates. And that's going to basically numb the amount of PR that you get and it's also easier for decay of PR. Right now in Fortnite, PR is the only way that we have to tell how good a player is on the overall competitive leaderboard. And then the last and final reason you guys should be trying to get as many solo placements as you possibly can is because it's easy to get good practice with them. They'll help you get used to the competitive lag, they'll help you get used to the meta properly, and you will just naturally become a better player. So if you guys aren't already playing solos, I don't care how annoying it may be, you guys should really try to play solos if you guys want to succeed in competitive. I know it may sound harsh, but I'm just trying to be real with you guys. You need to play solos if you want to find good teammates. So the next way to find really good players to play with is to get into better scrim discords. These scrim discords will consist of better players such as semi-professional players with a certain amount of earnings in PR. All of these better players are going to be way better to teammate with simply because they'll have more competitive experience that you can use to your advantage. Another thing with better scrim discords is that they're really good for practice. As you're getting into these scrim discords, you can meet various players along the way and you can easily form bonds. The more players that you meet, the higher your chance of success. Once you're also in these scrim discords, there's going to be more active looking for group sections with players that want to actually find teammates, and it's also going to be a lot easier to make friends. Making friends is one of the hardest things to do, especially if you're playing a game online, but if you finally make a friend that you actually know how to play with and you know how to stick with, then your chance of success in competitive will increase by a lot. Not to mention the amount of practice that you're going to be getting from getting into these better scrim discords. And the third and final way to properly find better teammates is to be involved in a various amount of friend groups. So the importance of friend groups in playing competitive is that you want to find a group of people that you can grind with. If you're surrounded by people who have the same ambitions as you, it's going to naturally help you and motivate you to play better. In these friend groups, you can also team up with your friends and play in various competitive modes if you know that they're good at the game. What you're going to want to do is try to place in solos in order to get into these better friend groups. Once again, placing in solos is going to be gold for anybody that wants to potentially be friends with you. It's also going to build chemistry with your friends and you can also learn various play styles by playing with a bunch of different people. If you learn various different play styles, it's going to naturally help you across the rest of competitive Fortnite. Not only will it help you learn how to properly play with these people, but it'll also help you learn how to manage them. If you're an IGL especially, I would highly recommend you guys try to find a friend group because it's going to help you learn how to properly play with different people. One of the hardest things I've seen in competitive is that teammates will have chemistry issues and they will blame stuff on the other teammates. This is easily fixable by finding a group of friends that you can easily squash any beef with. Alright guys, that is the video on how and why to find better teammates in Chapter 2 Season 6. I know it was a short one, but if you guys did enjoy the video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Be sure to check out all of my socials that can be found in the description. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.